my name is Victoria. I'm Lila. I'm Gabrielle. I'm Jill. And we are part of the um, High Point University Department of Physical Therapy class of 2026. And today we are going to be demonstrating um, abdominal aorta auscultation. One. In a randomized controlled study by Fink et al. in 2000, the abdominal aortic auscultation exam was to found to have 68% sensitivity and 75% specificity for AAAs. Specificity is not very high, so that means it's a good tool to help diagnose those with AAA. However, there is a chance of false positive. So this technique is performed by using the bell attachment of the stethoscope to listen to six distinct locations on the patient's abdomen. You want to make sure that the ear pieces of the stethoscope are pointing away from you or towards the patient. The first location to listen to is just below the xiphoid process, which is directly anterior to the abdominal aorta. Ideally, listen to each location for about 20 seconds. The next locations are right over the left and right renal arteries. Place your stethoscope inferiorly compared to before and move laterally near the rib line. Next, you'll listen to the abdominal aorta again, but this time just superior to the umbilicus. This location is especially important as 95% of AAAs occur here. Lastly, you'll move your stethoscope inferiorly and to the right and left of the umbilicus to auscultate the right and left common iliac arteries. It's important to make sure that your surroundings are quiet so you can hear any noises. And as you listen, a negative finding would be hearing nothing, but you could possibly hear gas bubbles, which is normal. A positive finding would be hearing brewy, which sounds like blood whooshing, which can indicate turbulent blood flow. Hearing brewy would be consistent with a AAA. Thank you.